Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued a circular regarding the recess of the, on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession anniversary and the Kingdom's National Day celebrations, whereby all government ministries, authorities and institutions in the Kingdom will be off on Wednesday and Thursday, corresponding to December 16th and 17th. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qudaybiyah Palace today a number of royal family members and senior state officials. The meeting discussed national issues and developments, during which His Royal Highness confirmed that the nature of the current status and its challenges require a doubling of efforts to achieve the aspired goals of the country and the people, based on unity and cohesion. The Prime Minister said optimism and caution were needed to protect the homeland and preserve its security and stability. He stressed the importance of national unity and one family spirit among the people of Bahrain and reinforcing communication to maintain the accomplishments of the kingdom in all fields. The Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain is rich with its culture and heritage, commending all efforts to protect and invest in the kingdom's culture. His Royal Highness also outlined the government's support to investment projects that aim at encouraging tourism to Bahrain and contribute in highlighting the urban and tourist side of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Qudaybiyah Palace today. The Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani. His Royal Highness congratulated Dr. Al Zayani on the decision of his reappointment to the post for another three year term, wishing him success in supporting the efforts of reinforcing Gulf joint action. The Prime Minister reviewed the results of the 36th session of the GCC Supreme Council, recently held in Saudi capital Riyadh, in addition to the decisions taken by GCC leaders to reinforce political, economic, security and military Gulf cooperation. He stressed the outcome of the summit and the initiatives of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the leaders of the rest of the GCC countries would further strengthen the Gulf cooperation in the face of challenges and confirmed the importance of initiatives that support the Gulf entity towards union, aspired to by the people of GCC states to guarantee security and stability facing all challenges and preserving the accomplishments of the Council's countries in all fields. His Royal Highness said the GCC has been able to establish a strong foundation to strengthen ties among its member states and build an effective model of partnership and cooperation in the political, economic and security fields. He pointed out that the Council has been able to stand strong amid difficult times and challenges, thanks to the leaders of the GCC members and their desire to protect the Council as a unifying place for Gulf action. The Prime Minister said the regional developments require all GCC countries to be ready to deal with any challenges against conflict and chaos, stressing commitment to supporting developmental efforts that meet the demands of the people of a safe and stable living, and called on the need for GCC countries to increase coordination, especially in the field of security and safety. For his part, the GCC Secretary General expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his supportive stance to every Gulf effort to support joint Gulf action, hailing the Prime Minister's vision and awareness of the current status, which reflects the shared destiny and goals that bring the Gulf countries and people together. Dr. Al Zayani highlighted the stances of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding enhancing cooperation among GCC countries and moving to a higher state that develops the Council's role as a strong regional entity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, chaired today the Royal Board the, meet, the board meeting of EDB in Rifa. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain is implementing a comprehensive program of structural, economic and fiscal reform to further strengthen its long-term development. The program is underpinned by three pillars, streamlining government expenditure, further redirecting government subsidies towards citizens and a series of economic reforms and infrastructure projects worth more than 32 billion US dollars to increase investment and maintain growth. At the opening of the meeting, His Royal Highness noted that the unprecedented infrastructure investment due to take place in Bahrain would make a vital contribution to diversification efforts and non-oil sector growth. His Royal Highness stressed that a key priority within the strategy is to further improve citizens' living standards and provide sustainable job opportunities for all, emphasizing that improving and modernizing business and investment regulation is crucial to facilitating and fostering entrepreneurial opportunities. Chief Executive of the EDB, Khaled al Rumehi presented the EDB's operational plan for 2016 and the target sectors that the EDB will focus on over the next 12 months. He highlighted that EDB's efforts to promote the kingdom in target markets, including China and Germany, have resulted in a number of significant business agreements this year and attracted international investment that would support substantial job creation. The chief executive also noted that continued diversification efforts have led to stable economic growth, which is forecasted to reach 3.6% in 2015, and that the contribution of the fiscal services, manufacturing and construction sectors now exceed that of the oil sector, which contributes only one-fifth of the GDP. He noted that the Crown Prince's directives are reflected in the EDB's 2016 operational plan and that the EDB's future efforts will focus specifically on the manufacturing, transportation and logistics, tourism, financial services and ICT sectors. The Bahrain Economic Development Board is a dynamic public agency with overall responsibility for attracting inward investment into Bahrain and supporting initiatives that help enhance the investment climate in the country. The role of the EDB is to work with current and prospective investors, ensuring that Bahrain's investment climate is attractive, identifying its key strengths and where opportunities exist for further economic growth through investment. The EDB focuses on several economic sectors that capitalise on Bahrain's competitive advantages and provide significant investment opportunities. The Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa, visited today the northern city to inaugurate a sewage treatment plant in the attendance of a number of senior officials. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah hailed the constant follow-up of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid al-Khalifa regarding implementing the government's plans and strategies. He affirmed that the new housing project reflects the government's keenness to provide citizens with the best housing services and affirmed the government's commitment to implementing the Northern City Project, in addition to other strategic projects in the Kingdom. The Deputy Prime Minister then unveiled the memorial plaque to start implementing the sewage treatment plant of the Northern City and toured the city, hailing the remarkable efforts of the Ministry of Housing to provide Bahraini citizens with their needs and requirements. Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired today the weekly meeting. The council began by congratulating the wise leadership on the occasion of the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the Kingdom's National Day. They then approved a recommendation by the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee on a draft law regarding Bahrain's joining the International Convention on Maritime Search and Rescue. 
The Council discussed a report by the Services Committee on a draft law regarding protecting society against acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS. The meeting looked into letters received from the Representatives' Council regarding protecting society from terrorism, approved another draft law regarding the agreement between Bahrain and Cyprus, and another agreement between Bahrain and Tajikistan regarding avoiding double taxation. The President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Amey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, took part in the opening ceremony of the photo gallery on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of the start of the diplomatic relations between Bahrain and Russia at the State Historical Museum in Moscow. Sheikh Amey expressed thanks to the organizers for the exhibition led by Bahrain's embassy staff in Russia, commending their constant efforts to build bridges of communication between the people of both countries and highlighted the strong bilateral relations in the cultural field. For his part, Bahrain's ambassador to Russia, Ahmed El Saadi, thanked Sheikh Amey for attending the event and hailed the role of the Bahraini Authority for Culture and Antiquities in enriching the cultural scene. The year 2015 has witnessed major advancements in the fields of primary and secondary health care in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Ministry has strived to devise strategies and meet the overall objectives of providing the best health care to the Bahraini population. More details on the Ministry's achievements in this report with Mohamed Al Shaban. Various achievements under the mandate of the Ministry of Health have materialized in the Kingdom of Bahrain during the past year. These milestone achievements come in line with set strategies extracted from the government's action plan and the overall objective of providing the best health care to the citizens. We as the Ministry of Health, in partnership with all stakeholders, we will do our best in providing the services for the whole residents in the country and getting them a very high quality um, uh, health services uh, throughout all the life. The year 2015 witnessed major advancement in secondary and tertiary health care in Bahrain, especially with regards to providing care for sickle cell disease patients. The hematology center was launched alongside Salmania Medical Complex and is now equipped with 90 beds dedicated to sickle cell patients. The experienced people there, the experts from, from John Hopkins, uh, uh, John Hopkins um, uh, hospitals, they attend to Salmania Medical Complex. The, we set a plan with them and an action plan mainly to provide much better services for sickle cell disease. So we opened the center. This is one of the major achievements for Ministry of Health of this year. An A-rated health center opened this year adds to the long list of achievements in the primary health care field in the country. The Khaled Bumaher Health Center provides a wide array of services ranging from radiology to professional nursing, full-time consultations and dental services. So it is an A health center. That's mean you could say you could you could just uh, um, see the, the services which will be provided there as uh, radiology, uh, lab, um, um, consultants mainly as a family physicians, and at the same time nursing services. Um, you, you know, it is just like a very comprehensive services in this health center. Perhaps one of the most groundbreaking achievements for the ministry is the application of iSaha, a computerized system that is launching the industry into the paperless era for prescriptions, diagnoses and referrals. The system has been implemented in all primary health care units and the first phase of which is underway in Salmania Medical Complex. iSaha in Bahrain, which is a very national uh, project. So it's not only just for Ministry of Health. That's mean we will be integrated with other hospitals public and even maybe in the future with the private sector. And now all the health centers, which is 28 health centers, all of them they are working as electronic file. The Ministry of Health takes pride in its launched Patient First initiative. This setup targets patients' complaints and recommendations and applies the outcomes for the purpose of improvement of services. We are getting the experience of, of these patients from the secondary care, from the primary care, or from even any, any services which will be related to health, the Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Health continues to launch its projects that fall under its strategies of sustainable development in the field of health care and well-being in the Kingdom, while keeping the patient first in the delivery of its services. Another year of fruitful achievements and over 20 initiatives launched by the Ministry of Health that go in line with the government's action plan and a vision of making Bahrain a center of excellence for health. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. And with that, it's time to hand you over to Bara with the latest in business news. Good evening, Bara. Good evening, Mary Claire.
Good evening and welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. The Central Bank of Bahrain, CBB, in cooperation with the Benefit Company, officially launched the Electronic Fund Transfer System, EFTS, in Bahrain. The service, which officially debuted on the 5th of November, was announced to members of the press and guests at a press conference held today. The EFTS electronic system interconnects all retail banks in Bahrain and major billers in the kingdom in order to enhance the efficiency of fund transfers and bill payments. The system will enable banks, individuals, corporations and government sectors to benefit from their innovative accessibility and ease and retail banking. EFDS will enhance and streamline the movement of funds in Bahrain across all sectors which in turn will promote a more proactive and forward-thinking banking sector. The Bahrain Osher Index closed at 1,212.21 points, a decrease of 1.52 points below the last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks, investment and services sector. The commercial bank sector saw the highest investor trading, which represented 43.03% of total shares traded. 32 equity transactions took place with a volume of 771,488 shares, worth 139,312 Bahraini dinars.